This is our inertia safety switch, part number INERSW, and its purpose is to shut off the power to your fuel pump in the event of a crash or collision. It's designed to be mounted on a vertical surface with the plug pointing downwards. On this end is a rubber diaphragm which allows you to reset the switch. Just press the diaphragm and it will reset the switch in the event of it being tripped. And on the other end is a standard Econoseal 3 terminal socket. Now we can supply a waterproof wiring connector for this switch. It's part number NASPLG3. There's the body of the connector. You get three terminals, three waterproof seals. Uh, they're a little bit fiddly to assemble, but um, you can find the instructions for wiring up one of these plugs in our catalogue. You can just see some letters moulded into the body of the plug. C, N, O and N, C. C is the, this terminal on the end. It's the common terminal. NO is the one in the middle, which is normally open, and NC is the one at this end, normally closed. You can find this diagram online, which clearly shows you the three terminals, and this represents the rocker switch inside the switch, which is in a normally closed position. If you have an impact or a crash, this rocker flips over to the normally open position. So when the switch is armed and you've pressed the rubber diaphragm, there is contact between C and NC, normally closed. And in the event of a crash, the switch will flip and there will be contact between C and NO, the normally open terminal. So you'd wire your 12 volt supply to your fuel pump through this and this terminal C and NC and on the NO terminal you could wire a warning lamp on the dash telling you that the switch has been activated or you could also wire a, a GPS distress locator. Getting a little more technical you can find this diagram in our online listing which is a graph showing the operating criteria of the switch. On this side it's acceleration or deceleration and along the bottom it's time and this is the curve for the operation of the switch. On the outside of the curve you can see an impact with a curb or a road rut or a pavement which is outside the operating criteria of the switch. Inside the curve is a high speed crash or a low speed crash which will trip the switch. Thank you.